but coming out when you're 11 it's obviously quite difficult because you know obviously you have no way of putting it across in words to people you probably when you're 11 I'm not even sure that you know what's happening because you know when you're 11 you're not that sexually educated you're definitely not sexually active or you shouldn't be I'm sorry but you definitely shouldn't be and you might not know what is happening and you know that can be terrifying as well I cannot honestly remember much of how I felt at this time probably because I just didn't understand it and I just went with it but it can be a terrifying experience and don't be afraid to admit that you're scared of it because it is a terrifying experience it shouldn't be it should be completely normal but because the way our society is structured and has been structured it is it's wrong but it's gonna stick around I think for a long time and it's bad but we here we got to deal with it so moving on to coming out I never actually came out at my high school officially people highly suspected that I was gay bi whatever I'll just say I'm bi I think I am meh but you know it, on that it's a thing I'm still figuring out you know four years after I you know I'm still here four years later but yeah I'll get to that um I did not come out when I was 11. I did not come out to anyone. And I think that I only realised that I was actually... Uh, ooh, wonderful. Gran just came into the room again. I mean, she really has to fuck off. She really does. She knows I'm bloody fucking recording. I need this thing in my bedroom. I really do. It's a piss take. Oh, just... It just annoys me. Okay, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I did not come out when I was 11. I only really figured out that I was gay or bi and figured out what was happening when I was around, I believe, 14 or 13. Though I was still at school, so it must have been when I was 13. And I didn't tell anyone at school, for obvious reasons. I mean, you really don't tell... I didn't tell my friends that I was gay because of the stigma that was surrounding it. I mean, in the classroom it was full of gay jokes and negative things towards gay people and I did not want to lose my friends. But I should stress, one, never be ashamed of who you are, but two, when you're a kid, you do, like under 18 or whatever, you do have less, uh, what's the word? Um, less sway over the world around you. So if you do not feel 100% confident that your friends at school will, you know, accept you if you're gay or bi, d don't tell them. Do not risk losing your friends and, uh, you know, you know, doing that whole thing because, you know, losing your friends. I can honestly say that nothing is worth losing your friends because to be honest I do not have any or many I don't have many real life friends and I would honestly you know I, I left school when I was 14 and I would honestly now go back and redo that I would stay at school merely because I would still have friends and you know I, I'm not I'm not really getting into that and discussing that now because it is a quite sensitive issue for me but Oh my goodness, this is awful. Die, you fucking whorebag! No! Die! Die, you fucking little whore! This is awful! I'm gonna run out of ammo, so I just need to... Wow, how many fucking bullets? What are they taking? Slide of hand and... Shit! Slide of hand and stamina up. Oh, help! This is awful! I'll get back to what I was saying after this monkey round. I promise. Wow, if they don't take... He did not take that. You pathetic excuse for a monkey. They took stamina up though, which I'm not surprised at. 
head through quick revive because they'll probably go that way oh dear shit shit oh yeah I will get stamina up back uh, <laughs> at the end of the round. Where was I? Um, I can't remember. Oh yeah, don't do not come out to your friends unless you're a hundred percent sure they'll accept you. It it sounds bad. It sounds something you know you shouldn't be ashamed of who you are, and you shouldn't. But don't risk your friendships. You should, however, come out to your family, because I know that there are a lot of families out there that are not like mine, but your family should accept you and oh and if they don't accept you it's harsh but you are better off without them if your mother if your father your brothers and sisters cannot accept you for who you truly are you should not be with them because your family should be the people who accept you for who you are who trust you above all others and who you know they're just your family you know so they should accept you there, there is no excuse for your family not accepting you. Ah. Oh.